Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, Wild Boar Cycling, uh, I'm John, and this is my friend Dave here today. Um, not necessarily a cycling video, but the director sportif says I should be making a video about what we're doing because we're gonna be doing a modification today on our 25 RDS uh, 2019 from Outdoors RV. Uh, we're going to be putting on here a power armor locking battery box from um, Torque Lift. Now this is a really high quality piece of equipment and uh, I'm going to step around here on the other side of the, uh, the rig and I'm going to show you why we're doing this. So one of the reasons why we're replacing our, our battery boxes is uh, we've just noticed over the time that the sitting out in the sun, the lids become all warped and here we are, we're going to put something clean and really attractive in here and uh, also add some security to make sure somebody doesn't walk away with our batteries. Now we keep our, uh, our outdoors RV in a, um, in a secure location, but it doesn't hurt to be a little careful with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step back and I'm going to let the camera run and uh, you can watch our work today.
uh, there, folks, you have it. We got it all buttoned up. It uh, wasn't uh, quite as easy as uh, we anticipated. And sorry, there's so much traffic and stuff running around here. Uh, wasn't quite as easy as we anticipated. Uh, we had to do some re-engineering in the front because of how the, uh, the cap on the ORV is. Got my keys here. Gonna lock this baby up. Boom. Solid, beautiful look. I'm gonna get a close up here with you in just a second. And uh, boy, I tell you, I couldn't have done it here without my buddy Dave. Thanks everybody. Out oh, well folks, here, let's, here's a little closer look at the finished product. And wow, this looks so clean and great. Once again, the power armor, torque lift, uh, locking storage battery box, really great. We did have to do some additional engineering around here. Uh, we have to remove that front diamond plate and then we reconnected it with some bolts so we can still access the area. But wow, this thing turned out awesome. It looks so beautiful. Let me walk around to the other side. And that's where the wiring goes in there for the, um, the jack and got everything tidied up. Wow, what a great clean look. This is an awesome piece of equipment. Um, it wasn't quite as easy to install as we originally thought, but hey, you know, that's the way it goes when you're doing this kind of work. So uh, again, thanks all for tuning in. Uh, have a great afternoon. Go out and ride or go out and camp and have fun. And of course, keep the rubber side down. Take care, everybody.